Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gabac USA. In this video, we are going to show you how to use black magic in a very easy way. I'm not, I don't want to make a huge and long video because uh, black magic they have a lot, a lot of features. So at least if you're starting just from scratch and you're, you're saying, okay, I got the device, but I don't know how to use it. Great, this is the video for you. I'll show you how to connect everything and how to set it up. So here, as you can see, I have the HyperDeck. This is if you want to record everything or you can use your computer as well. And here we have your the uh, video switcher. So that way you can switch between cameras and everything. So there are two versions. You have the version that has four HDMI and for SDI and you have the another version that has um, just <laughs> eight H uh, SDI yes and one uh, HDMI so in this case I have that one I, I, I mean I have both uh, models mm -hmm. but I'm going to show you one and then the other one so now I'm going to bring the boxes so that way I can show you the back and the front of those devices and the, the way that way you are going to know how to connect them all right here I have both uh, boxes. As you can see, one it says ATM one ME, and the other says ATM production 4K. So one is cheap, the other is kind of expensive. So in this case, I'm going to show you both. Uh, both are 4K. Uh, like I said uh, before, the one of the main difference is is that one. So in this case, I have the the more expensive one, so you can know uh, how to connect. So here. I hope you can see it uh, very well. So here you have one HDMI and the rest are all SDI. And here you have two HDMI. One is, is called program output and the other is multi view. So as you can see here in this side, uh, in this side, so you, you see the little squares. Okay, that one of each one of them is an input. And over there on the bottom on the right you see the preview and here is the program. So you you will see the um, the boom it, the boometer and, and, and everything else. As you can see you see the boometer here, the little ones. Okay, here I have I have to activate it. Once I activate it, it, it will start working. So uh, let me show you right uh, right away. I'll try to show you the software so that way you know how to set it up. So I'm going to zoom in. Okay, here is the, the software. As you can see, here you're going to select the camera if you want camera one, two, or whatever. So I'm going to show you a little bit. So yeah, uh, yep, I'm going to do this. Yep, one, two, one, two. Great. Now we are going to zoom in so that way you can see the rest. So here you, you have the preview. So when you have the preview is everything that you see here on the other monitor. That is what I'm saying. Is the preview here will be the program. So if you want to jump from one camera to another one, uh, you select the preview and then the program. And then when you press this button auto, it will change from one camera to another one. Later on, I'm going to show you closer. So when you connect it for the first time, the first thing that you have to use is connect the USB on your computer. So now that you have the, now you have to click here where it says, where you see the gear and then you will go here and then you choose the the settings of the um, of the quality of the video if you want a 40, a 4k 1080p or whatever else and um, that is one thing uh, once you have done that that is great you are set and then you jump here if you want different uh, layout in the camera that is for the other monitor that you you will see there if you want to change the way the range of the of the camera, you will do it from here. If you want to activate the um, the boom meter, uh, you will do it uh, uh, from here. And if you want to show up the other, I mean, if you want to display the other boom meter, you can do it from here as well. You can click here, enable or disable it. And here you have the labels. If you want to do that, output, input. Uh, if you want to change, for instance, instead of using the HDMI. You can use the SDI if you want everything SDI. So that is how you change it. And you go, go here to the HyperDeck and then you type the uh, IP that you want, whatever IP you want, and then you will be able to record everything uh, through this software. Otherwise, you have to wake up. I mean, you have to stand up and go and touch the button 
uh, that is the, the other way. Once you have done that, uh, that's that's it. And then uh, the audio that is very important. Remember, each time you you turn off the device, you, the settings will go away. So in this case, uh, we are going to use okay this. Okay, so now I have the audio from here. I, I care about the cam two, cam one. No, because now here I have this mic that is a lavalier, so that way I get better audio otherwise if you start mixing them up it will not sound good so that is one thing and then here if you if you have a black magic cameras you can hand i mean handle everything from there but i don't have any of that so that is the case so that is the very basic at least with this software if you want to also you can change the ip if you go settings here and then you change the ip of the H um, from the ATM. Um, basically, that's it. I mean, it, it, there are my, a lot of things that you can do with this, but this is uh, this is going to be the the basic. So, if you want to add like a, maybe logo or something like that, what you have to do is you have go you go media and then drag and drop here, uh, whatever picture that you want, logo and everything, and then you have to go here where it says on air on deck one dsk or dsk2 you have to enable it and you will enable that that uh, option so you have to go usually when you want to do that you have to go here where, where it says uh, downstream key you do that and then here you have to choose a uh, media uh, for instance media one and then that way uh, that will enable that. So when you hit here and then here, you will see the the logo coming up on the screen. So that is at least the the basic. So you can handle everything. I'm going to zoom out. Zoom out more. Great. So now, as you can see here, you have the, the boometer. So. This is because I'm talking here on the lavalier, but uh, indeed the mic is over there. But this is just for this test, so that way you can see that it's uh, picking up the, it's, the sound is coming here. So that is great. Also, you can see each individual uh, sound from here. So that is a good thing. Uh, the the best part is this here. As you can see, this is what is going to go to the air. So if you want to record. Uh, so whatever you see, you see here is what is going to be recorded. And another thing that I'm going to show you is the um, HyperDeck. The HyperDeck is great if you want to record maybe tutorials or something like that, like I do computer classes. So this is very easy. So here I have the ATM Production Studio. Uh, I'm going to show you the other one. If you compare both, uh, one has more connectors than the other one. So this is very simple. This is for HDMI and the rest is a HDIs, uh, but you connect it basically the same. So I'm going, like I said before, I'm going to explain you just the basic. If you want to read more, or if you have any question, you can leave me a comment on the bottom of this uh, video. So I'm going to grab the other, this is the other box, the HyperTech Studio. 12G, uh, so this is the one I, I got. I got both anyway. Um, one uh, was given to me uh, so I can make the video, the other is the one I paid for it. Okay, um, so if you want to connect the um, production studio, like I said before, you connect here, for instance, one of the output, you connect it with the input here, you can choose, for instance, the number one. And that's it. Uh, that is all you have to do. Remember that you have to set it up, like I showed you before. Uh, the IP you have, you have to go to the menu and set it up the IP. Otherwise, it will not work. And remember, you have to push uh, the button here where it says REM. R E M. Otherwise, it will, you will not be able to control it from the software. So uh, that is very important. Otherwise, you have to come uh, physically in front of the unit and push it. Now it's not going to record anything because I don't have any any um, hard drive here. Yeah, all, only SSD. Otherwise, mechanical drive will uh, I mean they are very slow they will not work properly and uh, that is what you have to make sure also you make sure that you have image here if you don't have it in a image here it will not work remember push the input uh, button otherwise 
you will not be able to record anything. So that is very basic. They are kind of loud, so that is why you hear all this noise. Try to keep them far away from you. Uh, that way everything will work great. Um, that's it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave it on the comment and the comments. And uh, see you next time. Bye.